Okay, hi guys. I'm getting ready to go out. I still need to dry my hair. I need to leave in like 15 minutes. My makeup looks really good right now. I do a good job. <laughs> um, I just put on my going out perfume, Baccarat Rouge. I feel like this is like my lucky perfume. Something always good has happened when I wore this. So I'm gonna be late. So see you in a bit. really pretty natural but I like it a little bit more standing out now I don't need to wear makeup okay guys so hello good morning I have to go to Korea next so I have to really leave the house soon but before I put on my shoes I thought I would show you my shoes I showed it in my life but not everyone might have seen that so I got given these Ariad proper authentic cowboy leather boots as a gift and they are the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen look at the craftsmanship and the leather is super high quality it smells so good and it's just like really good proper shoes so i am obsessed today in korea net i think we're we're making ramyeon so that should be fun so i gotta get going On the way here, I was texting with, um, you know, my birthday vlog, the owner of Uyang, the place where I had my birthday party. I've become friendly with him since, and he keeps like DMing me from time to time. And he was like, tomorrow there's like performers and like DJs, and if you come tomorrow, I'll give you a bottle of champagne. And I was like, okay, I'll come. So I think I might do that in the evening. I have dinner plans, and then I'll do that afterwards. But anyway, almost here. Let's go in. Everyone's staring at me. I walk with the camera talking to myself. I don't care. Wait, so this guy lied to me and he said he couldn't speak any Cur uh, any English and you are <laughs> you're half Canadian. <laughs> and I started off as well speaking like a little bit with an off accent. I'm like, hello, I'm happy yeah. and I'm from Canada. <laughs> And I was just like, what, like, oh, what is she feeling? Like <laughs> 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 
So I'm the first one and this is what we're doing today. Promoting some <laughs> what is it? Like snacks like we have baratangmyan and hongsam and bibimbap. Spent two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, David. He can sleep here. It's totally yeah. possible. No, not me. No, not me. David, why are you being so negative this entire... You're supposed to be selling the products. David is like hating on everything. I'm not kidding. And do you know what I hate? Getting my personal information stolen when I'm browsing the internet. So let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. So if you ask me, what is a VPN, Anna? Well, I can tell you. A VPN is a virtual private network that makes your internet browsing secure and masks everything that you do online. When your device connects to the internet, a VPN will help to blur or encrypt that information. And anyone who tries to spy on you won't be able to see what you do or where you do it from. So you can literally travel the world with just one click. So that means I can connect to popular websites worldwide, access country-locked content on streaming platforms, protect your credit card information, overcome censorship, reduce price discrimination while online shopping, and so much more. Surfshark is the best VPN because you can have multiple devices connected to it with one account for the whole family or friends to share, making it really affordable. And they have over 3,200 servers in 100 countries with a really fast connection. And I personally use Surfshark myself. I have been using it. I will continue to use it so if you want to try it out for yourself check out the link in the description and use my coupon code JYANALI to get four extra months Woo. and remember that there's a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you're not satisfied you can always easily cancel although I'm sure you won't be so thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and now back to the vlog good morning <coughs> it's like 5 50 a.m. I woke up early because I have to reshoot some of the April skin ad. I'm gonna go to my bathroom and do that right now. After this, I have to edit it and then I have to send it off by today and then I'm going to the live with David. I hate it when they tell me to reshoot. I don't mind redoing voiceovers, but like, why tell me to reshoot stuff? It's so annoying. Anyway, <laughs> not complaining. It's my job. This is what I do. The thing is, I've had my lashes done since the last time I filmed the first portion. So I feel like it's gonna look slightly different. They definitely look fuller and longer. So it's not gonna look completely the same, but what can we do? Okay, let's go film this. I just finished filming this product and now I'm gonna edit the reel, redo the voiceover and yeah, send it off. <coughs> this is like the new product that they're releasing. It's like pink aloe vera which is very unique, so I'm just worried that it's not going to look consistent in my face because also I'm filming this like first thing in the morning and the last one I filmed it like basically in the evening so all the puffiness in my eyes is like not existent in that video but here I, mean, I tried to get rid of the puff as much as possible but my face is still like not going to look the exact same if they want me to reshoot this is what happens so they're just going to have to deal with it <laughs> So it helps with redness and acne. Oh. <coughs> so it helps with red. Oh shit. So it helps with acne prone and sensitive trouble skin. So it helps with acne prone and sensitive trouble. Blah. So it helps with acne prone and sensitive tr sensitive troubled skin. Why is it so hard to say this right now? So it helps with acne prone and sensitive tr sensitive troubled skin. What the fuck? <coughs> So it, so it helps with acne prone and sensitive troubled skin. Oh my god, my vocal fry. It's like first thing in the morning. So it helps with acne prone and sensitive troubled skin. Okay, got it. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I can't live without airdrop. 50% pink aloe water, so it helps improve hyperpigmentation and dark spots. Minutes and voila, the redness is reduced and I have hydrated glass skin. I love it. Good. Nice. 
Okay, so I'm almost ready to head out to David's studio. I've got like five things done this morning. I feel like I had the most productive morning. Waking up early does this to you. I love it. So I've already banged out all the emails I need to send, fixed reels, filled more stuff, uploaded a reel, all of that. So very happy. Going to do live with David. And then after that, when I come back home, I'm going to go to the gym. And tonight I have dinner plans. That should be fun. My hair is turning brown again. I need to redo my hair. Later that same evening. Oh, so I'm getting ready. I just came back from the gym. I have this Ralph Lauren shirt I'm obsessed with. I did a whole haul, so I think I might film that in a separate video. By the way, you know, I said in my last vlog, I love Fui. I got one of their pudding pots. This is called Baddy. It's a blurring pudding pot. It looks like this. It's like a pudding texture. I just... It's very uh, matte, so I actually like to put a bit of a gloss on top of it. And then oh, I should just like to do it with my fingers. So I love that. It's called Baddy by Fui. These days I feel like I could do with a manager or someone just to manage my emails and my brand deals because it's getting to the point where I'm just like, I can't do this by myself. But I want a good management, not just like any, because I get a lot of emails from a lot of like MCNs and like a lot of offers. But I, I want to go with the right one. I really want to take my time before I make that decision. My cousin just called me and she was like, I'm thinking of maybe doing like a body profile photo shoot. She was like, before I get any older, I just kind of want to get into shape and just do it for myself. I really support anyone doing it at least once in their life to really try to make your body the fittest it's ever been and to look the best you've ever looked. So I was like, I give you my full support. If you need any help, just call me. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in Hanamdong for dinner. Okay, I'm on my way to go to Individual Geneva. I have to film a reel, get my skincare done. So they have a new and much bigger space now in Gangnam and everything was so pink and nice. It's my first time getting it done and I was told that in 7 to 10 days I will have new skin and I have sensitive skin so my skin was pretty red afterwards but I was told it would go down in a few days and this is how I looked at home the same evening and this is how I look about 4 days later. Skin texture is definitely smoother and glowing so I'm a very happy girl. This is what we're working with today, balanced talk. It's like spooky episode. <laughs> My party gonna be litty lit. Where are you? What are you? I'm just like renting some party or cafe thing. So um, I didn't film it. <coughs> I didn't film it, but I just had an interview with someone from. Al Jazeera, which is like a big YouTube channel. It's like they cover like worldwide news. And apparently they're doing a segment on Monday. It's gonna be like 11 p.m. my time. And it's like a 25 minute show. And they want to talk about like declining marriage rates around the world and dating, blah, blah, blah. And they also wanna talk about Korea. So I'm gonna have to talk about like why nobody's getting married in Korea and all this stuff again. I actually get like loads of interview requests about this sort of thing since I made those videos on TikTok and YouTube. I, I'm kind of sick of talking about it if I'm completely honest with you, but Al Jazeera, I'll just do it. Maybe it will attract more people to my channel. I don't know. So today's a Friday night, but I just finished filming a video for the second time. It's the contact lens thing. And now I'm going to sit here and edit it because I have to send it off to the brand by Sunday. I'm going to take off my makeup and just do this barefaced and maybe get an early night. Who knows? I woke up this morning and I was out of toilet paper, so I'm going to buy some now and maybe um, suck up on more groceries. Paper. 
I'm feeling just a little bit tired. Well, so is everybody who isn't tired, but kind of want to go on a vacation, but also you just need to work. You need to work. So this is my current set. <coughs> oh, I did abs the other day and my stomach hurts every time I move. So yeah, it actually starts at 10.45 for test. Have we as humans outgrown marriage? According to the Pew Research Center, 56% of millennials are not getting married. How will the decline in traditional marriage rates affect society and the economy in the future? Well, I'm hoping our guests today can help us unpack some of that. Anna Lee is a content creator who discusses Korean lifestyle and cultural topics. She's joining us from Seoul. Anna, it's not so much that young people don't want to get married, it's more that they can't afford it. Is that your case as well? It's midnight now. I'm so done. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, wake up for the stream tomorrow. Not gonna lie, I felt a little bit sad today. I think it's also the rain constantly all day doesn't help matters much, but I'll feel better. <coughs> I like having a lot of work on projects on, so I don't have to think about stuff. Good night, y'all. See you in the morning. I have this egg left over. I'm eating this is my first thing. And a um, protein shake. But I am really trying to not eat sugar as much as possible. It's really nice to be conscious of this kind of thing. Absolutely no sugar. And that includes fruit as well, actually. And that's a hard thing because I love sh I love sweet things. Mm. So I got an email from the brand last night saying I do have to reshoot the entire thing because they don't like the, the order of the products that's included in the video. <sighs> God give me strength. I was out late last night. I was just walking along Yangjie Stream, which is near my house, and got back home at like 1.30, 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. I didn't film any of that because, if I'm being totally honest, like this is the dilemma I'm having with vlogs and stuff. I don't know how much to share of my private life online. I do think life as a content creator is a bit weird sometimes. I think I'm honestly out of long form ideas. I keep getting ideas for short form these days. I'm turning into a short form creator. Short form is much easier, but long form, I'm just like, I don't know what else to do. Videos about Korea. Okay, all done. Let's finish this reel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares enough to like go and find out. Nobody can see that. And so what? Oh! oh. <laughs> we got Frank burgers. He got the chicken, I got the normal cheeseburger. Oh, he started going off at me like, what's good at It's because you're, you're, they were going to have a little bit of a It's like a bell. Oh, okay. <laughs> So <coughs> I'm back home now after the live <coughs> and now I have to edit reels and TikToks and things. People often wonder what it's like to be like a full-time content creator. Let me just explain how we make our money is so primarily it's starting on YouTube and you start making money through the Google AdSense. So per views you get paid by Google. But the much more, much more lucrative is the sponsorships that you get on your videos. So whether it's a beauty brand or like a VPN or whatever it may be, those <coughs> end up making the creators the most money. And then other people might have like a Patreon like David does, or like they might make their own merch and sell it. So YouTubers do that. And then on Instagram and TikTok is you make money through brand deals. Although now I'm getting paid for the views of my reels and like there's like this new new bonus system on Instagram. So you could get paid by your Instagram post, but obviously it's not it's not much at all. It's not much. And on TikTok you can get paid if you in Korea the threshold is 50,000 followers. Here in America it's 10k. You only need 10k and then you can join that program and then you get paid per view. If your TikTok video has like 5 million views and it's over one minute, the rule is that it has to be over one minute, then you get paid through that system. Apparently TikTok pays like quite decently as well, like I think almost as much as YouTube if I'm not mistaken, but how content creators make the bulk of their money is through brand deals and sponsorships. I'm trying to grow my Instagram and TikTok a lot more these days so I can raise my rates 
and then get paid more that way. But obviously I can't just be uploading ads like all the time. I also just have to have other funny or valuable or interesting content as well. So that's what I'm spending my time doing, like trying to come up with ideas, writing all of them down. Finished those three reels. Now I'm having to edit this one, film this new one. And then um, I've written down some ideas on my phone. So I'll be filming and executing those later. So yeah, uh, that's basically what a content creator does. I don't enjoy like the pitching to brands and negotiating my rates with the brands. And they will always try to negotiate and get a cheaper price from you. They always do that. And so I hate that part. I just wish I had somebody else do that for me. And people often ask me like, is it not like nerve wracking to be a freelancer? Obviously like you have to be earning a decent enough to go like full time on this. And yeah, thankfully I can support myself. I have other plans in the future for stuff I want to do. More projects more like business ideas i have time to like slowly plan that and execute all of that while doing content creation you know the people who are in the millions million follower creators you know they make more than most doctors they make a lot a lot but right now yeah i really want to grow my instagram and tiktok because the, the videos on there is just easier to make less time consuming less brain work long form youtube you really have to put some thought and idea behind it really put some effort into the actual like idea and the topic and the editing is just far far longer on long form obviously and like i said yeah all the brands just want short form marketing these days so i'm gonna carry on working and that's gonna be my day so i just did laundry <laughs> and just tidied everything up and actually my room was a little bit like especially my couch i just had like clothes on there that i just needed to put away it was a bit messy for a few days and i think i remember i watched a video by jordan peterson where he was saying look at the state of your room that really reflects the chaos that's in your mind that means that something's not right with your current mental well-being and i think that's absolutely totally true because if I get like depressed or sad or anxious, I feel like that definitely shows up in the state of my room. So the fact that I've just cleaned everything up and it looks so much nicer, I think that must mean something. <laughs> so yeah, I had a really productive day, so I feel good. Yay to having a clean room.